Saturday, Saturday, Saturday giveaway, Saturday. All right. This book has brought very good fortune to one Mr. Haim Sabin. This guy created the Power Rangers, sold the power. He built them up, sold them to Disney for over $5.2 billion. Then he buys them back from them some years later for $65 million. Right around there. Less than $100 million for sure. Then he sells them again to Hasbro for over $500 million. The guy is a freaking genius. Good fortune has come to him from that creation right there that will no longer bear his name unless Hasbro s sells it back to him again. Um, that, that's not happening. However, he created the Power Rangers in 1992, created the series. They were, they were meant as um, Japanese Sentai. But um, this is the first comic book based on the Power Rangers. There were magazines, but this is the first comic book, and it was not by a big publisher. It was Hamilton Comics. All right. Whoever wins this, I will ship it to you anywhere in the world free of charge. Keep in mind, I will not put my real address it would be my buddy's address, as I did with my last giveaway as well. Another thing about giveaways is I'm not going to have giveaways based on subscriber numbers, okay? Um, just going to have a giveaways, man, just, just because, man. I mean, first of all, I don't have enough time to, like, uh, be um, worried about, like, monetizing or the channel or um, you know keeping track of how many subscribers I have I ain't got no time for that all right um, so we're just gonna have this every now and then we're gonna have some giveaways this month because um, Blue Marvel's coming in it's coming in soon I, I got built for it already I don't know. I'm going to have a... That's going to be a surprise. We're going to be opening one at a time. It's 20 of them that are coming from Mr. Kendra. And 11 that are coming from CCS. One of them will be given out. But it'll be one of Mr. Kendra's batch that will be given out to the community on that one. And of course, uh, we agreed on Venom 26, the first, you know... That one's, uh, it, it was looking like it was going to be a great book, wasn't it? Right? First virus. But um, the one in 50. But, um, yeah, that one's going to be given out as well. One of them. Uh, <laughs> watch me get all 9.4s on those. But anyway, those were pressed. Uh, all right. So... Before we get to the question, I'm going to ask a question. You guys are going to, you guys, whoever wants to go into this contest, answer it in the message board, right, um, for this video. After you answer it, you can send me an email at speccollector at gmail.com. That is my email with um, YouTube spec collector with one C spec not two C spec collector right one C because somebody else has two C's so make sure you don't do that all right and then when you email me um, choose a password uh, one word and then um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at my email and then I'm going to ask you what's the word on under the winner's um, message. I'm going to put, okay, what's the word? And then you can put the word down for me. This way I know that it's you that's emailing me, right? 
and that's how we're going to do this all right before we do this however we are going to yeah it's suspense we're going to add grill project book number 34 something's killing the children this is things from another world website all right this one is thanks to two people marshall davis wines and spiffy mcsender both of them um asked me about this book um, just my thoughts about the book really they they were uh, looking at these and uh, I believe they had already purchased them this is from things from another world when I first looked at it I gotta tell you I was not uh, didn't fall in love with the cover I had to look at it a second time and um, you know I can't say I've, I'm still in love with the cover but I, I do like it the other thing I like about it is the price. It was $19.99. I should have put this out two days ago, guys, because that's when I bought it two days ago. I am sorry for that because they were still available. I did not think they were going to sell out. There were only 500 but unfortunately, my bad, my bad dudes, I didn't put this out earlier. Um, I was so tired, man. I was so tired. I just couldn't, um, I couldn't stay up. And plus I had the, uh, uh, unboxings of all 25. I didn't want to make the video so long, but, uh, yeah, got three of them. It, they limited to three per, um, per buyer. So I bought three of them, three rows. Uh, and those are going to be going into the project. I don't have a final number because the um, they're going to be sold at the end of December, December 23rd. But when I looked at it the second time, it looks like she's either looking at a monster or she's inside the mouth of a monster. But it looks like she's just looking at a monster and she's about to carve that thing up. That's what it's looking like that to me. Or maybe she just carved them up and that's all blood. You know. So it's uh, it grew on me. Needless to say. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is these came in. These are from the Grail Project. These are freaking beauties, man. Grail Project Beauties. Look at that. I'm going to be sending all of them in. Hopefully to uh, see if we can get 9.8s on them. This is my favorite one, though, because it's... Look, it's a little bit expensive. They still have some, right? Um, Ultimate Comics... They still have some, but um, this one's 50 bucks. This one's 100 though. I would be going for that one probably because it's a little little steep on this one. And plus, you need to get 9.8 if you're going to get a return from it. Generally speaking, I don't like going after um, variants. Uh, especially after all the stuff that's happening with the grill project and I'm gonna say like expensive variants I'll I'll add that expensive variants when you go for something like this you're going at it because you're going for it because of a cover because of the cover I mean nothing else in, I don't think happens inside this book that's like a first appearance or anything like that but I just think that the cover is 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 pretty good. It's not Wolverine number one, um, the Christopher cover. That's not it. That that cover will be a thousand dollar book one day, um, because of Wolverine. This one, this one will not. I don't think, but this one should be coveted, and because it's um, limited, you know, this one is less limited of course but they're both limited 500 on this one and uh what was it 250 on this one right that's it's pretty rare they are gorgeous covers but um 
you know, it's a good spec. It's a good spec. I'm, I'm liking it. I like this one better than I like this one. But if I can get 9.8s on this, we'll make money on both. And those will be for the project. All right. Here it is, guys. Here it is. You know, before I send this away, I'm going to make this a guinea pig. I'm going to try not to break it, all right? It's going to be a damn shame if I end up breaking a slab. I'm going to be very careful with this baby, okay, for whoever wins it. But I am going to try to break it. And the um, subscriber or the person that commented, I don't know if he's a subscriber, Rohan Zeus. Um, I don't think he's a subscriber, though, because I, he doesn't, I think he only posted that one time. But it was a pretty good post, you know. Um, he uses uh, suction cups. Suction cups, he said, they worked for him for these uh, Newton rings. And we're going to try that tomorrow. See if we can get that off. And send it without Newton rings. Uh, so, uh, shout out to Mr. Rohan Sous. Rohan Sous. All right, here's the question, guys. Here is the question. I talk about this book all the time. This is the standard catalog of comic books. There is only one number in here for the print run for one distributor. The question is, what is that number? That's the question. Now, I have said that um there's it's uh, probably two to three times that number in my guesstimation but what do i know you know that number might be correct i don't think it is i think it's probably m more between closer to three times that number but um but only because there's two distributors and they only have one. And they do talk about it in this book that in the 90s, because this book is from 1994, um, numbers do get off whack uh, because of um, both distributors, right? It's, um, it's harder to keep track of both distributors. So that's the question. Answer the question. And... Uh, Good luck, guys. Good luck. Bye-bye.